Let's do something fun and design this flat illustration in Adobe Illustrator using this sketch. If you want to follow along, you can find the sketch in the description of this video. Let's start by clicking on new file and then from here, I usually select the art and illustration tab and just go to 1920 by 1080. Let's name it sketch and illustration. Hit create. Now we're going to place the sketch by just dragging and dropping. Let's have it somewhere in the middle. Hold down Alt and Shift or Shift and Option and place it somewhere in the middle. Now we're going to lower the opacity on this one just because we want to be able to see through it. And once we have it at 30%, go to the Layers panel and actually from the Layers panel, deselect and lock this layer up now we're going to create a secondary layer and this is the layer where we're actually going to sketch let's take the pen tool just to see if it works it does and now everything is going to be behind this sketch and we can draw easily i'm going to use an empty fill so make sure to have none over here and black and then i'm going to delete the first one that I just created to have some fun and start with drawing the base shapes for this illustration. To kick things off, I'm going to start by drawing this particular shape from the background. I'm going to try to follow along as possible with the sketch. If that's not possible, then I'm going to just create whatever comes. So for example, this is good the way it is and I'm going to make adjustments afterwards. I'll start with the hair. I'm trying to follow along and create one big shape. Try to create the curves to be as nice as possible now the ones in the sketch do look pretty cool but i'm not sure if i can keep the same dynamic look to it uh, as i work with the pen tool but i'm going to try so everything is going to be one shape click on the end whenever you want to close down the shape curvature so for example in this case this doesn't look that good but i'm going to adjust it afterwards so let's just close it off and now switch to the direct selection tool which is a on the keyboard and then click and drag the handles and then you'll be able to adjust the handle whenever you see something that looks off. So for example, over here, this curve seems to be too high up. So I'm going to adjust it and make it a bit smaller and that will lead to a better look. Now it's time to do the face, same thing with the pen tool. I'm going to start from over here and create these shapes. Sometimes if you want, for example, to have a really nice smooth curve, the way I would do it is create a straight line. So for example, you'd have these shapes and it does look kind of weird but let's close it off and then with the direct selection tool click on this particular anchor zoom in and then when you drag you'll be able to create a really smooth transition over here and that usually helps with creating characters that look more refined now i'm using the curvature tool just to create the ear this is easier to do than just having the pen tool because it usually creates but a smooth curves wherever you need them then i'm going to continue with the neckline the same the neck is going to be its own shape and you just have to close it and now let's do the body it's going to be hard because we do have a couple of overlapping elements so for example you would have the body but that's behind the leg and then you would have this part which is above the leg what i'm going to do is create one big shape and then we're going to mask it whatever we need to with the pen tool selected let's start from over here trying to keep an overview of what i'm drawing and where i'm drawing it just because whenever you get too close to something it's hard to see the details in it so right now i'm just trying to create one big shape as you can see over here i'm going to need to use the direct selection tool just because i need to round this off we can then work on the pants so let's start from over here i'm going to have this touch this curve touch over here and let's create this shape make sure that you follow along just with the top part so for example let's say this one is going to be straight because i want to use the direct selection tool just to have a really cool transition now i have this one that's going to be above this one so we're missing a few elements those few elements are going to be the hand over here so let's create the hand click and drag 
then do the other one same start from start from over here and you can just go on top of everything because it's going to come behind uh, you're going to see once we're going to place a few colors on this illustration it's going to make a lot more sense now i'm going to do this part from the leg behind everything so this leg is kind of raised up so i'm going to send it backwards afterwards but i just need to create it for now same for this leg i'm going to create this quick shape same for this leg just create quick simple shapes that are pretty straight and from this side i feel like we only need to deal with this part and this part so let's deal with the one at the top which is the color i'm just going to create a shape and then we'll probably use the shape builder tool just to get rid of this top part and here where the arm actually overlaps with the body i'm just going to do a triangle <laughs> let's see how this is going to look like afterwards we can do changes so let's do the base of the shoes now i'm going to start with this part which i already don't like so switch to the direct selection tool just to make this smaller just this is going to be the front uh, if you are wondering where i found the inspiration for these shoes i was actually browsing asos so that's uh, uh, website where you can see designer clothes and things like that and i didn't know what kind of shoes to have for this character so i was just browsing there and i saw some that i really like and then i drew a variation of them if you want to learn more on how to design these characters and how to draw sketches then you can join the waitlist for my upcoming course which is going to go over the basics of character design inside adobe illustrator and how to create flat designs so if you want to join the waitlist the link is in the description of this video and you can just put in your email and i'll let you know when i launch it now i got a bit excited and drew this element which would be the line so that's the detail i'm going to leave it there but let's finish off this first i'll start from over here and create the second shoe as well just because we we need two shoes in this illustration and create this final blocking shape whenever you're doing this just keep in mind that it's up to you if you want to make any changes if you want to make things bigger or smaller it's up to you now let's work a bit on the details of this illustration i'm going to start with the face just because that's what everybody wants to see <laughs> so i'm going to do the eyebrows first usually i do the eyebrows just like this but let's create something a bit more different i'll start on the left hand side over here with something a bit more realistic <laughs> like this looks a bit more like an eyebrow than what i usually do so let's uh, remove this and create a second eyebrow just because i feel like i want to switch things up because things have been pretty boring lately okay so now we have these two eyebrows which are going to be shapes then we're going to do the eyes same with the pen tool now because i'm drawing this with the pen tool they're not perfect but they're good enough and let's do a line for the nose maybe make it a bit rounder over here and then have this transition same for the mouth let's create a simple line and then we'll see if we want to add more details over there this is going to be a simple line as well something like this and then let's see what else do we have we have this part over here that's just going to be a simple line and then inside the shoes we do have a lot of elements that we need to create so first is going to be a line that's going to separate everything then we're going to have the shoelaces whenever i select between elements i hit v just because i need to deselect it and then select it again if i would continue without hitting v in between it would continue the shape but if you hit v it stops the shape whatever it is let's do some hearts click and drag to create these hearts it's pretty fun to draw hearts because you can do it in many ways so for example i'm not really just following a particular way of doing them for this one i started from the middle for some of them i start from the side and let's for example this one let's start from this side just to just to practice working with the pen tool because i feel like that's the best part of using adobe illustrator it's pretty cool that you can do these illustrations even in a 
platform like Figma, but the curves are not gonna look like this. We need to do this part, which is the separator, then the fun part of doing the shoelaces. And then we also have those small elements at the end of the sneakers over here that we're going to do. I'm guessing those are going to be not stroked elements, but actual filled shapes. And let's see how I'm going to create this just so it stands out a bit more. Okay, and do one over here as well. In the initial sketch, I feel like it was overlapping, but I don't want them to overlap with the, the feet. Okay, so now we're going to have the basis of all of the elements we need to get things started. To start doing the actual illustration and putting in the colors, I'm going to toggle the visibility for the sketch layer and we're left off with this. Now it's time to zoom in, zoom out and do some changes just because I want this to fill out more of the background and let's move it somewhere more in the middle. For the color scheme, I actually am going to use another illustration as inspiration. It's actually this one done by Folio Illustration Agency and I really like the color scheme. So I'm going to try to sample this as the starting point and then I'm going to adjust based on where I need. Let's paste it in just to have it here. And then I'm going to use this as a reference. So first I'm going to need to have a background. So making sure that you still are working in layer number two, create a rectangle like this. And with the eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard, you're going to have this block of color. Right click, arrange, send to back. And then we're going to start with the other shapes. Like when I initially designed it, I was thinking about those hanging chairs where you actually lay in them and they look like pods. So that's that was the idea behind it. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to have the light color just because it's going to be a lot of contrast. Then for the hair, it's going to be probably black and then I can't see anything. So let's leave the hair at the end. Uh, let's start with the face. Uh, we can use this color, which is red, but I've done illustrations in red. Yeah, I'm going to use this brown actually. And then uh, let's do the neck as well to have the same color, the ear as well to have the same color. And this is going to be the same color as well. For the clothes, be blue or something. We're going to have these elements. This is going to be white just because it's going to be uh, something that we need to get rid of. So we can start cutting up some of the shapes. So with the shape builder tool, make sure that you have both of these elements selected, then hit shift M and that's the shape builder tool and get rid of this element by holding down option or alt on your keyboard. And then you have only this element. Same with this part you can actually select both of them, shift them, and then get rid of that part. Then we have the hands, which are going to be the same color. Then we're going to have the feet, same color. Then we're going to have the pants, which need to be a different color. I really like this pink, so let's go with that. This is going to be pink, but a bit darker. So I'm going to sample it, double click on the fill color and actually select a darker color. And we need to send it behind everything. So this is going to be the second leg. This needs to be sent behind this leg and this needs to be sent behind this. And this is what I was talking about because this leg goes on top of this shape which is the same as this one over here you have some overlap so i'm going to mask it by selecting this color and creating a shape that's above everything so i'm going to mask it like this for the shoes these parts are going to be white these soles are going to be pink and then we have <laughs> all of these hearts which are actually going to be filled colors yeah maybe we're going to use this black from the hair yeah, and do the same for the hair. Let's go like this. Now this blue doesn't look that good on this hair. So let's make it white. And this element looks like crap as well. So let's scrap it and just create a shape that's white. I'm going to create a rectangle that's kind of coming from over here. So it's aligned with her hairline. I feel like we need some definition in the face. So let's select the eyebrows first and they need to be like this. Same way the eyes, they need to be the same color. And let's make this a bit bigger. So go to the stroke panel and actually make it four or five, whatever you want. Let's see how this looks. This is a bit, a bit too much. So let's make them four 
just because this is a bit more big than the eyes so i think four is good and we also need to have some definition between the face and the neck so i'm going to do just that and create a shape that's going to separate it when it comes to the color i feel like it's a bit too dark for the hair to have contrast so i'm going to select all of them and let's try to create something a bit different and double click it so you can see this is actually a brown base but let's make it a bit more saturated towards red where you still have the same look of the illustration but it's a bit brighter than, than what we had before when it comes to the face not a lot of adjustment just for example whenever you see this line it's good for it to get masked so just move it a bit so you have have it look like it's a pretty smooth transition same with this one you can select it and with the eyedropper tool you can sample the color we're going to need a few more just to separate things around so for example we can create one over here and then one that goes from here to here i feel like you can play a game whenever i say separation you need to take a shot <laughs> so uh, let's make this a bit rounder and just unify and not have any visual tension <laughs> we still need some separation over here separation again uh, let's select this one just to sample the color and try to follow along with the path and just close it down like that then we're going to have all of these be kind of the same so let's select it and see how it's going to look like if it's going to be a larger stroke it looks okay doesn't look great because this is going over this is probably going to be a field and let's just move it like this and going to do the absolute same thing to these elements as well when i look at it some of the things that annoy me are the fact that i can still see the white line over here so i'm going to make some adjustments so for example i could still see that white shape so let's just make this bigger and for the face i don't like that this eye kind of looks weird so i'm going to remove it and create a duplicate by holding down option and just have it over here let's make this eyebrow a bit bigger so it goes over and this eyebrow a bit bigger having done this i feel like we can do some shading so i'm going to keep it super simple and actually create one at the neck once you have the shape select this color double click and you can select the darker one I feel like this is the one that i used before and then i'm going to do one for the leg let's hit command c command f just to paste in front and now we have two elements that are the same go over here from the eraser tool you can find the knife tool and with it you can actually create a shadow so click and drag and try to follow this line so for example i don't really like how it ended up over here so i'm going to try it again and try to be really smooth with it and follow along this contour and now when we remove the top one by hitting delete now we can see this shape but now it's the same color as this one so let's sample this one to be black so you can see how it could look like a shadow but i feel like it's too it's not that well defined so what i'm actually going to do is not use the knife tool and actually just use the pen tool and do my own shadows and not rely on some tool to do it <laughs> so i'm going to do this shadow which is going to be a separate element with both of them selected hit shift m and remove this part and now you have this part which i feel like is a bit more refined i actually forgot a shape over here that's going to be the dark side of the pant let's send it back and we can also do a bit of shading on the leg even though it's not realistic so anybody in the comments that <laughs> thinks that this is not that great in terms of shading uh, I know that so I'm going to try to create a shape like this that's going to mask everything shift them remove this part and this is going to be the same color as the one on the neck and let's send it behind until we get behind the actual pant same for this leg maybe just do some like close it down same color shift them get rid of the excess and then send this behind everything we're missing a line over here a squiggly line for the shoe so let's create it and not stick to the actual sketch i would probably do a bit of 
modifying just because now I see that this part of the hair needs to be a bit bigger just because it's on that right hand side instead of moving everything let's just move this part and maybe have this a bit higher up and make this a bit smaller so you have a clean round look hope you enjoyed this kind of video if you did don't forget to like it and subscribe for more again if you want to be the first that joins my course once i launch it make sure to go in the description below and actually join the waitlist thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye